House was a fantastic show that managed to remain interesting despite its formulaic case of the week structure, yet it could have been even better with one small change. Hugh Laurie's Gregory House is among the greatest characters in television history and could make any House episode interesting on his own regardless of the case they were working on. House's character was fun to watch for more than just one reason, including but not limited to how great he was at his job despite being very difficult to work with. House ran a diagnosis department and usually only worked on one case every week, meaning only the most difficult yet fascinating patients would get to him. House's original premise was that, when no one else could solve a case and find what was wrong with the patient, Dr. House would come to the rescue with a diagnosis only he could come up with. The problem is that House relied too much on this routine and made every other character look bad at their job compared to House. House should have been wrong more often, and his team right. House was always right at the end no matter what. Custom image of Cameron, House, and Foreman custom image by Milika Georgievic. House was a great character, but so were a lot of the other doctors on the show. Even when looking at the first three seasons only, House's cast was very fun to watch and complemented the titular character in the best ways. Both from a personal and a professional standpoint, House was made better by those around him. However, in almost every single case on the show, the other doctors on House's team would never crack the case on their own. Apart from a few notable exceptions, the right, definitive diagnosis always came from House. House never promised to be a realistic medical drama, nor did it need to be. However, Gregory House's skills compared to those of his team sometimes asked for too much suspension of disbelief. No matter how good Cameron, Foreman, and Chase were on their respective fields or what was wrong with the patient, House was the one to find the right answer in the end. It would have been more fun, and perhaps slightly more realistic, for Gregory House to be wrong more often, leaving more room for his team to shine. House getting everything right made his team look pointless. House needed his team, but they rarely shined on their own. House needed a team to operate properly. This became clear in Season 3, Episode 18, Airborne, during which House has to diagnose a man during a flight. Away from his office and team, House asked three random strangers to play the roles of Chase, Foreman, and Cameron. While he never mentions them by name or even explains what he is doing, House asks for one of the strangers to agree with everything he says, for the second one to disagree with everything he says, and for the third one to get mad at everything he says. House's diagnosis process can be described as a collaborative process, although not the most traditional one. Still, reducing the team's role on the show as replaceable NPCs for House to interact with as his brain comes up with theories may not have been the best approach. Seeing House's pupils stand up against him over a disagreement was always interesting, yet they were usually wrong anyway. It would have been nice to see the winning theory come from other characters more often. This would not have downplayed House's genius but rather highlighted how great of a team he had. House's team questioning his theories that often never made sense. Who would even question House after witnessing a few of his diagnoses? Custom image featuring Chase, Foreman, and House custom image by Yida Chacon. Another issue that came from the fact House was always right was how pointless his team's questioning attitude was. For example, Foreman would often accuse House of being too reckless and vouched for a more traditional, by-the-book strategy. Still, House's approach proved to be the right one in almost every case. However, regardless of how many diagnoses he got, both House's team and Cuddy would frequently go against him and question his methods. Granted, House was dangerous and needed to be watched closely, but the constant questioning of his theories never made much sense.